Here we are in Parua Bay in uh, New Zealand. It's blowing 25 knots, constant 25 knots, and now it just has calmed down a bit. But we came back from the dock, which is over there somewhere, and a really big wave knocked the side of the dinghy. I was trying to get them from the back, water sort of thing to go down with them, but we have to go across to come to the boat. And uh, it lifted the thing, flipped me over the side. Uh, one, one like this, guy, like this, with a breaker like that. And uh, yeah, this is my foot anchor. Sometimes, you know, it's not all just sunshine and blue skies. It's my outfit. It's all soaking wet. I had my phone in my pocket. Yeah, uh, pilot error. We're debating about that. Uh, rough weather for sure. Uh, should we be in the dinghy in these waves? No. But uh, it's getting dark as you can see. And uh, we have to come home. What are we gonna do? Stay on land and look at the boats rocking and bouncing about. Spring, late spring, summer. Beginning of summer in New Zealand. 25 knots of wind. And uh, this is not actually too bad. It's going to be worse next week. Uh, we're looking about gusts of 40 knots. 45, so we, we're not gonna be here on, on gust of 45, that's for sure. We will be moving somewhere else. Someone said that a good sailor does not need a bow thruster to dock a boat. And you know what? We think he is right. However, preparation is key. Ask for a marina plan and know on which side you'll be docking. Take into account the prop kick effect on maneuvering the boat. Our prop kicks the stern to port, so a port to docking would be best for us. But we are not always lucky to be allocated a port to berth. In fact, it never happened whilst in New Zealand. Also, in New Zealand it is not customary for a marina staff to catch a rope. So, you're on your own. on both sides and lines on the dock inside. <laughs> Time your docking right by considering wind strength and direction, boat speed, tide or current direction if any. Also, be prepared to deal with the unexpected.
how you secure uh, the line sorry yeah so when we came in we had the wind from behind us quite strong and it was pushing us into the end of the pontoon so what you've done you put a bow spring which is this line and uh, then there is no cleat on the pontoon on the back i try to lasso first thing we've done we put this bow spring to stop the boat from going forward and then we attach the stern line to stop the boat from getting pushed by the wind onto the other boat this line uh, it's a bow line and it's to stop the boat from getting blown onto the pontoon and this one here also this is another bow line and is to stop the boat from getting blown away from the pontoon this is the bow spring is to stop the boat from going into the dock this one here is the stern spring is to stop the boat from going backwards and the very last line there is the stern line is to stop the boat from going away so in total we have five ropes right four five ropes Sometimes we go in marinas to hide from bad weather, other times to have a blast, like our Christmas trip to Auckland when we moored at West Haven Marina. We chose a windless day and our mooring was just spot on. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoy this channel, please subscribe, comment, give us a thumbs up and share.